Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Matt, and thanks for stopping by the channel. Now, today's fly is the fifth one we're doing out of the Mike Vala Classic Streamer Fly Box. This one's called the Catskill. It's a very simple, elegant bucktail streamer. Now, if you've fished a lot of bucktails, you know they're not the easiest flies to fish. You've gotta be a pretty good fisherman to get them to move through the water to look like a minnow. I mean, they just don't have the same lifelike motion that a featherwing streamer has. But this one, this has got the best of both worlds. It's got two colors of bucktail, and then on top, it's got some peacock curl. So it gets that nice minnow profile, but it has just enough motion to make it look like an alive bait fish. Now, I couldn't find a whole lot of history on this pattern, but I imagine it was created somewhere up in the Catskills, hence the name. But again, it's a very simple pattern, very elegant, no exotic materials. I think you're gonna like it. Let's give it a shot. So there it is in the vise, a Catskill Bucktail Streamer. Now I'm tying this on a size eight. It's a 5X long streamer hook. Okay, get that situated in there. Now I'm gonna put a base. I'm gonna just keep using my standard 70 denier. You could go thicker if you wanted, but this works and I already have it in the bobbin. So take your base all the way back to the bend of the hook. Okay, now that does take a little while. Good thing I can speed up the, the video and the editing. Next up, I'm gonna take some Danville's Mylar tinsel. This is a size 14, so I think that's probably a medium. Now I'm gonna tie it in with the silver side toward the hook. I've cut it at a little slight angle there. Silver side toward the hook and Tie, catch it in with as small amount as you can, because our goal here is to keep this underbody really smooth and flat. That way your, your tinsel body will look, you know, it'll look better. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a half hitch right here. Now I'm gonna try to use the rotary function. It's not always easy to do when I'm filming. It gets in the way sometimes, but let's give it a shot. So. I will speed this up in just a second, but just take your time on that first wrap. If you get the first wrap laid down smooth without any bumps, the rest of them will be much easier. So I think that is going to work right there. Now, what I should have done is probably angled the hook up a little bit to make this more of a true rotary, but I'm just going to go pretty slow here, and I think I can make it happen if I take my time. Okay, that body is pretty smooth. I would have probably gone a little bit slower if I was making an Instagram fly here, but this is a fishing fly and I'm not too worried about it. So I'm going to go ahead and catch this off up here with a couple of tight wraps before I snip off this tinsel. Okay, and maybe one more. Now we can snip off this tinsel couple wraps to just bury this you know tip right there now you want to get your thread where the back of your head is going to be so I think right there is going to be fine now the first component for the wing is white bucktail now what you want to do is take a clump probably twice as big as you think you're going to need and I'll show you why see those tips none of those are really aligned but I'm not gonna put this in my stacker. What I will do is just pull out one at a time any that are really long or really crazy, and then I'm just gonna grab it kind of by the tips and then just pull any short hairs out. So I'll do that a couple of times, and I've really thinned it by about half. So there is my, my wing right there, and here's where you wanna measure your, your length. You want to, you know, well past the bend of the hook, not terribly long, but a, a good bit, maybe a, a third of the hook length past it. So I will switch hands, hold it pretty tight in my material hand, do a pinch wrap right here, and then do another one. 
So what you want to avoid is this hair wrapping around your hook. So I think we've got two right there. And what I will, I'll show you what I'll do after I put the next one on. I will, I'll put a wrap up under the, the hair just to really keep it from spinning around. So I'm putting some tighter wraps down right there. And still coming off the top about like we want. It's a pretty swept back wing here. Now just snip this off at an angle if you want. That way you can get a little bit of a taper there before we put in the next clump of bucktail. So you'll take your thread right back to the where that the back of that head is and grab about the same amount of red. Again, I've got a few long fibers I'm just going to pull out with my fingers and then I'm going to grab it by the tips and then pull all the short ones out. See that right there? Pulling any of these short ones out. Now, just so happens, happenstance really, that this red dyed bucktail, these fibers are a little more hollow than my white one, so they're going to flare up on me a little bit, but that's okay. I'll show you how we can take care of that. So I'm going to do exactly what I did with the white, but this first wrap, I'm not going to make it real tight. If I did, then this bucktail would flare way up, and I don't want it to flare too far up. So now I can go forward, making it a little bit tighter as I go. So that looks a little bit better than the one I did right before it. So I want to do a couple more securing wraps right here so it doesn't spin around on me when I snip this off. Now what I was talking about before, and I will do it even though this fly doesn't necessarily need it. See those fibers, well, you see that wide is starting to wrap around the, the hook just a little bit. You get your thread back to the back of the head and just lift all of these up and then take a wrap right up under it. Now that, and what you can even do if it's, if it's spinning around even more, is just, and I'll show you, this fly doesn't necessarily need it, but I'm taking a wrap just around the hair. So now I've got one wrap that is just around the hair. Now it did make my head a little bit bigger, so it's going a little bit farther back. And like I said, I didn't necessarily need to do it on this fly, but I just did it to, to show you that it can be done if you need to. So let's take our thread back up to maybe the middle of the head there. Now we're gonna put our topping on. Three strands, peacock curl. I've snipped off the ends right there. See, they're, they're even. And I'm just gonna lay it on right there to the, the you know, the same length as the, that bucktail. So I'll just do this. This catches in very easily. Just a, a few wraps right here and several more to secure it. We go ahead and snip this off. Now we can work on the head, but we're not done after the head. There's one more trick I want to show you after we finish this head. So I'm going to just smooth all this in, go back up to the, to the eye and build a little ramp. And it's a streamer. I want, I want a, a good size head on this thing with a big dollop of shiny head cement will make it look pretty good. Okay, I think that head is going to be fine. Let's whip finish this and then we'll do the last step in just a minute. Four or five turns will be fine right here. I'm going to pull my thread out perpendicular and then just slide my scissors in there. Hopefully I can cut it off without leaving too much of a tag. Now, here's what I always do when I have uh, peacock curl topping and I tie several streamers that have this on it. I think they look pretty cool I'll take my bodkin and just pull up the just just grab the, the peacock curl and then You know, I've got the three strands of peacock curl under my bodkin and I'll put my thumb on it and then just Pull up not too hard, but with a little bit of tension and you can get that curl you can get that curve down right there so you might need to do that a couple of times. And see, now I've got the, the curve, the swept back look for that peacock curl. So you might want to push it down just a little bit. 
But there you have it, the Catskill Bucktail Streamer. A pretty fun pattern to tie, pretty elegant, can be super effective. So that's it, my friends. Oh yeah, don't forget your head cement. I'm not gonna show you, put that on the video, but you know, you know how to do that. Anyway, that's all. Take care, everybody. We'll see you next time.